Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Scruff's Garage. Um, one project I decided to tackle uh, while I've got the oil pan off, right? So obviously with the Corvettes, with the uh, Batwing type uh, oil pan, it's a two-piece oil pan. Uh, there's the, the lower section. So the oil has to drain back through these various points in the oil pan uh, to return to the lower sump uh, where it gets picked up by the uh, oil pickup tube. And as I got looking at this this oil pan, obviously it's a cast uh, design, and the casting is just a little rough uh, on some of these openings. So I decided while, while I've got it off, get some of these tungsten carbide uh, bits. I'm going to go in there and just clean up some of these openings a little bit, uh, just to smooth them out. I don't really make that big of a difference. Um, but I'm going to work them around and just smooth it out and anything I can do to make the oil uh, flow back a little easier to the uh, lower sump uh, will be uh, obviously to my benefit. And then I'll try to clean up uh, some of these casting imperfections um, as well. So I'll check back in after I've done this and I'll let you see how it turned out. Okay guys, I uh, just wanted to show you the after. Um, like I said, I used my Dremel with the carbide. Uh, tungsten carbide bit uh, to clean up the rough castings on the drain backs for the upper oil pan. Uh, like I said, I really wasn't trying to uh, port these significantly larger, just wanted to clean up the rough castings uh, there in the drain backs. And the uh, that tungsten carbide bit, I made quick work of this. You really have to be careful uh, so that you don't take uh, too much material. And of course, stay out of anything uh, that is a machine surface, obviously. Flip it over. Right, all of this, anything that's a... a here, we'll just set it down. Sorry about that. Uh, anything that's a machined surface, right? This is where your gasket is going to sit. Uh, stay off of that. You certainly don't want to touch that. That's going to affect uh, how well your oil pan... Uh, seals anything that's a um, a sized port leave that alone um, like I said I don't know if you can how well you'll be able to tell the before and after but it really cleaned up uh, these drain backs nicely um, pretty happy with that um, a couple of pieces of advice though um, I had already cleaned the oil pan before uh, which helped um, but certainly any anywhere that there's um, oily residue uh, this puts out a ton of uh, aluminum shavings, and they're going to, they're going to stick to uh, anywhere there's oily residue. Uh, so you have to clean this very thoroughly uh, when you're done. Um, so I blew it out with compressed air when I was finished, but of course, like I said, anywhere there was oily residue, um, they stayed even after I hit it with compressed air. Uh, so I put it back in my solvent tank. I scrubbed the entire oil pan, both sides, uh, even areas where, you know, obviously I didn't do anything um, with the Dremel because uh, those metal shavings go everywhere so I, I cleaned the entire oil pan um, then I rinsed it out uh, with water uh, so that I could just spray it everywhere um, and then I hit it with compressed air again and then I'm going over it with a, um, a lint free cloth and checking all the corners I mean just think of anywhere there could be a little metal shaving um, make sure you clean it, blow it out uh, clean it with solvent, whatever you need to do um, other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, like I said, I don't expect it to make a tremendous difference, but anything you can do uh, to help the oil drain back into the lower sump uh, just a little bit easier, um, hey, you know, it's to, uh, to our benefit. So, hope this helps, and if you decide to tackle something similar, uh, be sure to post below. Uh, let me know how it turned out for you, and uh, good luck.